Hello there, and welcome to another Space Engineers Xbox One tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown of the Blueprint system and the Mod IO workshop, where you can create and share creations of other members of the community. So, to start off with here, I've got uh, a ship that I've actually prepared uh, beforehand, and we can do whatever we want to this, you know, we can uh, come in here and I'll just, just quickly, let's say, add some new blocks onto it. Find a, well, find a spot there. And this is really just really quick to show, uh, this is a slightly different version to the one I already had. Um, so once I've done that, and you have a grid that you want to actually blueprint and have it saved, you press the right stick, and then you can go across to Blueprint Actions. And as long as you're aiming at a grid, which I am now, you can see the different options. You have Create Blueprint, Copy Grid, Cut Grid, and Paste Grid. So we want to actually create a blueprint of the ship that we're looking at right here. So we can do RB to confirm. Takes a second here. And there we go. So you can see here in the Blueprint screen, um, I've got the, the original, and then you've got the new one, uh, it's, it's kind of added a one to it. It's a slight different variant, but I wanted to do that so we could differentiate there. And in here, you can see the number of blocks, uh, the size. Here's some other uh, builds that, that are local builds. You can see that they're local, or at least cloud blueprints are on the Xbox cloud. Um, and in here, once you've created it, you can come in, you can uh, rename whatever you want. You know, I can type some stuff in here and just leave that YYY. That, that, that's fine. And then press X, and that's now confirmed. We can also replace the blueprint that we just created with uh, another one that we're looking at. Um, we can delete the blueprint, we can take a, a new screenshot so the new thumbnail will update. And then finally, we have the publish option. And this is where we publish to the Mod IO workshop where other people will be able to subscribe to your, your blueprint. So let me do this and we'll publish that and hit OK It'll take a second here to upload it now we want to open the the browser to have actually edit this now so now it's going to open up the authorize and if it's the first time that you are uh, using doing this then it, you'll be greeted with this uh, option to basically allow the app to access your profile which is it's obviously totally fine so we can hit yes and this pretty much creates an account um, under your Xbox uh, profile it connects it with the game we now have our cursor uh, uploaded to the mod IO workshop and now this can be viewed from any browser on any device and uh, people on the PC version can also access this and they can download this and put it into their local files and uh, and access it that way. In the same way, PC players can also put blueprints from the Steam Workshop or from their local uh, folder onto the Mod.io to share with the Xbox community. And you can share this link. It creates a URL. It's got a slash the cursor 16 with your friends um, and fellow kind of uh, engineers, and they can actually subscribe to these. And then once they've got that, they, they'll be able to uh, paste it into their worlds. So I'm going to show you the first way that you can actually subscribe to other people's builds here because um, one of the things is uh, there's an in-game way and there's the browser way to subscribe to items. So let's actually now go to kind of the, the home page of the uh, Space Engineers Mod.io workshop here. So we select this page and there we go. Recently added the cursor, there's the one we just got right at the top. And we can have a look at uh, these are all being made quite recently you can see um, but what we can do is we can go to popular and see what's what's hot on the workshop right now and yes we can see some very very nice ships here so we'll pick one of these to uh, paste into our world let's have a look this is a nice this this looks pretty cool d37 timberwolf so if we'll select this one again just using the exports controller here to browse this the site so it's not ideal um, that's why I'm going to show you the other method in a second here. Uh, and all we have to do is come down and click subscribe to install. And as soon as we uh, hit A and subscribe to that, that will now appear in our game. 
So we can actually just um, press the Xbox button, come down to Space Engineers, and we'll come back into the game. And what we want to do is we want to now refresh this list. So these are my local ones, and these are some other ones that I've subscribed to. Well, that's one of them. And this is the one we just subscribed to here, which is the, the D737 Timberwolf. Now, once you've got that, um, we can hit A. And this will now load it into our game. And there it comes. And then, the, the main thing is here what we can do is we want to orientate it correctly so it's not like in the, in the voxel. So, if you look at the D-pad, we've got some rotational options here. And we can also change the axis in which it rotates. So if we press the down D-pad, now we can change the roll. So we're almost there with the kind of keep getting it upright. And a quick way to do it is if we press the left bumper and then press the left D-pad twice, we can actually align it with the gravity like that. So there's a nice little tip there for having it perfectly aligned with the gravity. And I can also fly up here and make sure it's properly placed. Also useful on the, uh, the left bumper is the fact that we can move it further away and closer to us with the up and down uh, D-pad. So very useful when you're trying to get these in the right position. Come back to this one. That will be fine. And then once I'm ready, oh, we can, uh, yeah, that's okay. We can uh, press the trigger and then we can paste anyway. There's some of the DLC blocks I don't apparently own, so we'll paste that in, but it'll be okay. And there we have it. There is our D37 Timberwolf from the Mod IO Workshop. Um, let's see. Now that was the first method of actually subscribing to a community blueprint. And I'm going to show you the kind of, uh, the, the easier way I'd say to at least find builds. But you might not have as much control. So once we, what we have to do is to open the blueprint screen. Um, we can do right bumper and B. And that opens up this same blueprint screen here. And what we can do is now is press the menu button to browse the workshop. And now it opens the in-game Mod.io workshop browser. And you can see now how it's got basically uh, an in-game uh, in version of that same kind of screen. This is the most popular here, so we can filter from most recent, most subscribed. Uh, the ones I'm subscribed to. We can also change the class in which people have tagged it. When you see when you upload, you can choose between four different tags. And we can see here we actually have uh, 2,000, over 2,000 pages. So, you know, we can uh, definitely flip between the pages here. We've got LB and RB. We've got classic big red in there as well. Very nice. So this can be a nice way to kind of like browse and see um, maybe you don't know what you're looking for, but you want to try out something cool that someone's made. This is a quite a nice way. But if you know what you're looking for, you can come in here and you can type, let's say, all right, let's, let's, let's say Star Wars. Because I bet there's a bunch of that, a bunch of Star Wars builds already. So, oh, it's, yeah, so we'll just uh, search this. Again, this would be good if I had a keyboard plugged in to easily type this, but... Let's have a look. Now the menu button, and now that's searching for Star Wars, ticking around, and there we go already. We can see so many uh, Star Wars. That's, 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 well, <laughs> it's interesting there's also some Star Trek in there, but I think it depends on how the, uh, how you can probably be more specific there as well. So there's 71 pages. So we've managed to filter from over 2,000 to 71, and by flicking through these pages here, I'm, uh, I'm sure we'll find some, some Star Citizen, there's uh, all, all kinds of uh, amazing uh, builds that people have created from different uh, sci-fi games and movies. So exactly, you can search exactly for what you want to find and it's all in game so you'd, it's, it, it, it works a lot more uh, smooth I'd say compared to the, the website. But if you're on a PC, on, on a laptop or something like that, or if you're away from your uh, 
uh, from your Xbox and you want to just like subscribe to something, you can you know get your phone out and subscribe to a bill from anywhere. So it's good to have the the options with the blueprint stuff. Anything else to note about this? I would say um, there's some information there. Uh, there's the the file size, the number of subscribers, when it was made, if it was updated, and also there's a description which you can actually edit um, on the website. So if you really want to uh, yeah, change what things are said, then you can do that. And I can press A to toggle the subscription. So now I've subscribed to this Star Wars uh, T65. And if I back out of the browser workshop, I'll come back to this. And I may need to reload my blueprint screen, so I'll hit this again. And after a second, I can come down and there it is, the Star Wars T65B. And I can select that, give it a second to load in. And boom, there we go. Exactly, and I can rotate it exactly how I need it. There we go. Another little second to come in, and there. I'm not sure how well this one flies on, on, uh, on planets, but <laughs> the option is there. Very nice build, though. It's great that we can finally share builds you know, between Xbox and PC. That's really PC. That's really great. Also, to do the blueprint system, if you want to get rid of a grid, you can uh, again use the admin screen here. Uh, come across to the blueprint actions, and you've got again the, the cut, copy, and paste. So we can look at this, cut it, and RB to confirm. Oh, was I looking at it? No, I was. Ah, my my crosshair wasn't quite on it. So now let's try that again. And then there we go, and then cut, yes, and there it goes. So another way that you can uh, kind of uh, manipulate grids, it's, it's kind of all part of the blueprint system. And there you have it. You can see just how easy it is to create and share blueprints with the rest of the community, both on Xbox and PC. We really look forward to seeing what you guys continue to create in the coming months because already we've been blown away by what people have been creating on Xbox. So keep building and I'll see you in the next one.